this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have got a really cool video critique for you to watch. Have you ever tried to draw a portrait of a family member or a friend and you just couldn't do it? It was really hard. It was most likely because you were drawing from the wrong photo reference. And the wrong photo reference is a front lit photograph where there are are no shadows on the the person's face that's really difficult to draw from so let me show you in this video critique how to handle that situation check it out now what let's call um, this what it is it's a photograph taken with a camera that has a flash on it and it's flattening out everything so it's you're you're not doing simple addition, but you're doing calculus. And calculus is hard. Um, so you're drawing from a photo that is so extremely difficult to draw from. And when you're learning how to draw, uh, this is one of the worst photographs that you could use to learn how to draw with because there are truly barely any shadow shapes near the facial features the shadow shapes are on the side of the head and they're so minuscule that it doesn't really help you per se with the likeness at all. Um, so it's almost like you joined a gym and you're there at the gym and you want to work out, but you came with a suit and you're we wearing like dress shoes. It doesn't help you at all to try to work out. So you're here and you want to learn how to draw, but you're at a disadvantage because you're working from a photograph that is just brutally difficult uh, to work from because the lighting is flat. Does that make sense? Like that's everything right there. It's not about your skill. It's not about your effort. It's that you're starting from a disadvantage and the disadvantage is that it's flat lighting. Now, let's talk about how, even though it's flat lighting, you can still draw it and, and you can still get the likeness. How? Um, for me personally, um, it's, it's all about, I, I'm going to go through the steps here and it's going to be very boring, but I have to do this because this is how I, I would do this. Um, so for the guy, um, the first thing I would cling on to is, is the angles on the edge of his head. So this is what I would do first, and this is a thousand percent angles and measurements so that would be step number one for me in that type of lighting situation step number two so now I separate shape of hair from shape of face so I would draw his hair and it's, it's really skinny okay so that would be my next step. So now I have the shape of his hair and I have the shape of his face. The next step for me would just to recognize where the highlights are and where the lights pretty much hitting the front. So that tells me that there's got to be shadow somewhere. So this is my line that separates the light from the dark. And it's showing me that, and her hair is blocking the shadow, so that's making it even worse. So now this is the shadow shape, but the shadow shape is on the perimeter of the head. And that's not going to help me draw the facial features at all. That's just going to help me get the shape of the head. Now the facial features start to become about uh, less contrast and just about um, uh, it's difficult so I would do a gesture line from eyelash to eyelash to get this and I would just hint at the eyes and I'd say okay if this is the top of his hair and that's the bottom of his chin where are his eyes and they're kind of in the middle okay and then I'd start to look at like some distances from the edge of the eyelash to the edge of the head, edge of the eyelash to the edge of the head. Um, 
And I, I, I just start to look at other things like I, I, look, I see a tone here and that's because the nose is a cylinder like his head is a cylinder. So just like the head of the shadows on the side, well, the nose, the shadows on the side too. Okay. And then I look at, you know, distance from the bottom of the chin to the center of the lips. Um, and I'd, I'd start to do these tedious, tedious measurements. But what I would not do is draw from this photo because it starts to become about these tedious me measurements and it, and it makes it difficult. The other thing is that when you look at the value scale, let's just use this value scale, the values that you're primarily seeing on that gentleman's face is one, two, three. These values over here are what we are primarily seeing. We're not seeing this and this. If, the, it w if it was form light, we'd see a little bit more this and this. But what we're seeing is this value and that value because it's their facial shadows are not contrasty. So that makes it so, so very difficult uh, to draw them. Um, it can be done. It's more advanced and you'd have to practice matching values. And yes, no doubt, like on her, um, you see subtle, subtle value shifts. And when I look at her face, I start to see, okay, her cheekbone, there's, there's a little bit of a, a subtle shift in value over there. Um, I start to see that this part of her face is more of a cylinder. And so that's a different value and that's a shadow value. And then here's another area of value. And then the side of her nose is another area of value, so, but they're just not contrasty. Uh, and this just becomes more about like shapes. Like I just, you should watch the previous critique because I talked about um, shapes like that, being able to draw that accurate shape, being able to draw that accurate shape. It, it becomes about subtleties and values and uh, being able to draw these accurate shapes. But make no mistake about it, how I would start is shape of hair, versus the shape of the face because that is the container that holds all of the little subtleties okay I, I could keep going on and, and on and on and on and talking about different things like I can talk about big form so big form is that her head is a big cylinder um, yeah we can go on and on and on but I'm just trying to show you like practical ways to be able to draw this. Now, uh, there's two different types of situations with these types of portraits. One is you, you like these people so much, they're family members, they're friends, and you want to just give them a drawing and they, or they asked you to draw this and you, and you take on the drawing and, and you go about and you do it. And this is the photo that you have and you have to draw from this photo. The other way is that you say, hey, come on into my studio. Let me put some good lighting on you and you photograph them in form light. The other option is you like them so much uh, and they're your friends or family members and you just say, listen, I just can't do this. The lighting is just terrible. I, I, I can't do this drawing right now. I, I, I need a better photograph, even though this is a beautiful photograph. But from my skill level right now with being able to match the values and draw in accurate shapes, it's not going to happen. I, 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 I just can't do it. I, I was actually watching this show last night, uh, and the show is called Naked and Afraid. And one of the uh, contestants or one of the uh, participants in, in the 21-day uh, survival challenge said at the end, I'm just, not, I'm just not ready. I thought I was a true survivalist, but I just don't have the skills. So to be able to draw from this photograph... You got to have massive skills with the matching of the values um, and the drawing accurate shape. So you're just not there yet. So you have to pick a photograph that will help you um, and give you way more confidence. This type of photograph, like I said, it's calculus. And so it's very, very difficult to draw from. Does that make sense? I, I hope I helped you with this. This was actually a lot of fun. And I want to save this photograph. 
All right, thank you so much for watching that video critique. I hope that you learned something from it. If you're looking to get a video critique like that of your artwork, come on over to drawingtutorialsonline.com and check us out. The link is at the end of this video and right underneath the video. Uh, this is our member critique gallery and this is where everyone uploads their artwork. And over here at the blog is where we uh, post up every single Monday night our member critique and we usually film about three hours of uh, critique video every single uh, Monday and we post it on Monday night and you can see all of our members names over here underneath the videos. You can download it, check it out. Uh, thanks so much for watching this. Leave a comment and I'll talk to you soon. Be good.